Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Welcome to Teach you Comp's Mastering Publisher Made Easy. The picture shown is the initial screen view when you open a new publication in Publisher 2013 and 2010. A publication is the file type created in Publisher. Within a publication, you create and modify text and graphic objects within the pages that constitute the publication. When you close a publication, Publisher will prompt you to save unsaved changes in any open publications that you were working on before closing. In the following lessons within this chapter, you will examine the elements of the publisher environment. New users should first familiarize themselves with the tools and elements within the program's environment before attempting to create a publication. When you initially start the publisher application, you will be presented with a listing of available publication templates. We will explore using these templates in more detail in the next chapter. For now, simply select the standard blank 8.5 by 11 choice from the listing shown so that you can inspect the working environment of the program. After creating a publication, you will see the main workspace of the publisher environment. This is where you spend the majority of your time designing publications. In the publisher environment, the publication pages appear within the application frame. The application frame consists of the title bar, the ribbon, the status bar, and the publication pages themselves. The first object to examine is the ribbon at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, groups, and commands within the program. For upgrading users of Publisher, note that the ribbon replaces and combines the older menu bar and various toolbars from Publisher 2007. You will also find that the Microsoft Office button has been replaced by the new File tab. Clicking this tab allows you access to the Backstage view shared by the Office 2013 and 2010 products. In the Backstage view, you will find the most common file management commands, such as creating new publications, saving publications, and printing. Above the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar. You can add buttons to this toolbar for commands that you use frequently and wish to always have available. Notice that several important buttons are already set here. Save, Undo, and Redo. You can also move buttons that you have added to this toolbar as well. At the top of the window, you will see the name of the current publication you have open. This appears to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar. The current publication is displayed below the ribbon. This is where you create the content of the pages in the publication. Most of the actual work in Publisher will be done in this area. To the left of the publication page, you will see the navigation pane. As you add pages to a publication, a numbered thumbnail icon of each page will appear within this pane. You can scroll through the listing of pages as they accumulate and then click on one to select it. The selected page will then appear in the publication page area for editing. At the right and bottom sides of the publication, you will see scroll bars. You can use these vertical scroll bars and horizontal scroll bars to scroll up and down and side to side within your publication. You can easily zoom in to increase the magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification using the zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. To the left of that, you can see the various page layout view buttons that allow you to switch the number of pages displayed on screen as needed. Now that you have an overview of the names and locations of the major on-screen elements, you can examine the use and purpose of the various on-screen elements within the Publisher application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.